Recently, rumors about the coronavirus outbreak have also been circulating in North America. Many are spreading through the Chinese messaging app WeChat, causing panic in Chinese American communities. A city council member stepping out to clarify rumors after a recent post on China's messaging app WeChat claimed a person in Flushing, New York is infected. The post circulated widely among New York's Chinese communities, prompting a sales plunge for local businesses. Lately, rumors of the coronavirus have been spreading on WeChat, an app popular both inside China and among Chinese immigrants overseas. As concern over the outbreak grows, businesses inside Chinatowns in cities like New York, Boston and Vancouver are suffering. Some restaurant owners say most of the customers they've lost are Chinese. Some of the posts are purely rumors, but some feature alarming headlines. Recently, a public WeChat account targeting an audience of Chinese immigrants and visitors in New York published an article titled, The U.S. Admits the Virus Outbreak Will Explode. Whistleblower says CDC is intentionally covering up, and there are over 1,000 cases in the U.S. The article has been viewed over 100,000 times on WeChat. The account boasts over 400,000 followers. Compared with this loose regulation on reports about the outbreak situation in other countries, WeChat seems to tightly restrict information about the situation in China. The app is reportedly helping China to hunt down coronavirus critics and silence critics in the U.S. Earlier this month, a nonprofit based in D.C. called Citizen Power Initiatives for China said it's preparing to file a lawsuit against WeChat. It says the app is exporting China's censorship to the U.S.